along with my executive body, we went to competent authority rooms, and there we discuss with the Honorable BC and discuss on our four demands, which we are asking for fulfillments since two, uh, since uh, July 2020. So ultimately, BC yeah, or Honorable Vice Chancellor has agreed to fulfill our, all our demands. So we are grateful to Honorable BC and he promised us that by evening uh, after one program is there, after that program he will uh, give us the communications that uh, all the demand has been fulfilled. So we will wait for that. So if by evening uh, that uh, writing assurance does not come to us, then we will again discuss our next strategy. Some of you, like, you, know, you are, like, demands also you have come in front of VC. Like, you know, uh, that we'll discuss. Well, I have not taken any decision on that supplementary demands. So we'll take decision and then we'll look into it. Then we'll, uh, if necessary, we'll give a representation to the authority. So at this moment, I think it may not be nice to talk about that. So we have to first. Uh, discuss it in detail. After that, only we'll uh, decide for some actions. Thank you. Uh, sir, what will be your thought uh, on this? Like, generally, we see students protesting in the campus, and then mm. today the other way around. Mm. So uh, recently, there was a statement by the vice chancellor mm. uh, two days back saying uh, that the RGUTA are running a parallel authority, and then they are also there. Whatever their demands are very. Baseless. And he has also mentioned regarding that there is no any commencement uh, from his end uh, in order to meet all the demands. As, uh, as told by the RGUT earlier that uh, only the, there was no any written uh, assurance but he has assured verbally but he has however denied on the verbal assurance also. So how far you are convinced regarding today's meet also and if you can just share what are uh, you know like apart from agreeing on the demands uh, do you think that uh, it will come up into some amicable uh, properly in a written form and all so regarding the comments of uh, our honorable vice chancellor in which was published in newspapers so i don't want to say anything on that so that is up to him that this is personal personal views but uh, regarding uh, alleging our demand as baseless. I want to say that if it was baseless uh, demands, then uh, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor might not agree to the to fulfill all our demand if it is baseless. So that uh, uh, clear the things. Then uh, another thing was, hmm. yeah, yeah, baseless thing. If it is baseless, BC, I, I, I don't find such uh, comment there. Baseless. The DC Honorable Vice Chancellor did not say that. And then he also mm. said that like uh, there was no any assurance from his end, ver even verbally also, like that he has mentioned. Uh, till but today there was no, uh, yeah, verbal assurance was there by the competent authority, but by as a, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, uh, in person he never assured verbally. But their discussion was go going on, going on like that, this, uh, discussion after discussions. But uh, assurance by the competent, competent authority as all was there, but uh, it was never, I mean, our demand was never fulfilled. So that's why uh, this situation come. We teacher also know that in this way, uh, you know, we are grown up and we all are intellectual people. So we also don't like uh, agitation and all, protest and all. But we are crying for many years, many months, but authority is not listening to us. That's why uh, last time also we said, if you resolve it for us, then uh, we will not go for all this kind of democratic moment. In spite of that, they didn't listen to us. So that's why the situation is like this.